In 2014, the Ledbetter Bridge in Paducah, Kentucky was collapsing over the Tennessee River. The cause was a landslide, rotating the foundational piers out from beneath the approach span on the southern shoreline of the Tennessee River that carries old US-60. The poor state of the bridge's structural integrity disallowed bridge inspectors and contractors to safely inspect the bridge for fear of collapse. In order to gain a better understanding of the situation, the Kentucky Transportation Center at the University of Kentucky College of Engineering, along with the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet District 1 and Central Office personnel, used an unmanned aerial system, or a UAS, to inspect the Ledbetter Bridge. What we're about to see next is this initial inspection of the bridge performed by the UAS. The landslide has worked its way up to the abutment of the bridge, resulting in this vertical face of soil seen here that is coming up underneath the abutment. Now we're looking at the first pier rotating backwards towards the abutment. This rotation is being caused by the migration of soil sliding past the pier at its base. We're concerned that as the pier continues to rotate, the girder will fall off of the pier cap. We can see here that the second pier is also rotating backwards. The rockers are leaning and the bearing plates are sliding off of the pier cap. Looking at the bigger picture here, if the first and second piers continue to rotate, thus causing the girders to fall, a domino effect could take place, causing the main truss of the bridge to collapse into the river. If this was to happen, barge traffic could be disrupted. Once the initial inspection of the bridge was completed, the images were digitized in order to better understand how the bridge was moving. It was also necessary to monitor the collapse of the bridge in efforts to notify officials as soon as possible that the main truss of the bridge had not fallen into the Tennessee River, disrupting barge traffic. Therefore, a simply safe home security system with an internal cell phone was used to monitor the separation between the approach and bridge abutment. When the entry sensors became more than 1.5 inches apart, a text message was sent to both KYTC and KTC personnel to indicate that the bridge had moved substantially. There were approximately nine false alarms over the one and a half month period, indicating that the bridge was moving rapidly but had not completely collapsed yet. Here we can see surveillance photos during the period leading up to the collapse of the bridge. On Saturday, June 22, 2014, at 2.07 a.m. Eastern Time, the landslide made its final movements during a rainstorm that caused the Ledbetter Bridge to collapse. The Simply Safe system notified officials immediately after the bridge collapsed via text. Local police were then able to visually confirm within four minutes that the main truss of the bridge was still intact. Approximately three months later, local contractors were able to complete the planned demolition of the remaining structure, which we are about to see here. <laughs> 